Okay, so thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to show you if somebody shares a Google Doc with you and they protect it, meaning you can't print it or you can't copy from it. I'm going to show you somewhat of a workaround. It's not perfect by any means, but if it's like a 10 page document, you can probably get everything pretty cleanly within about probably about five minutes. So um, if you need help with local SEO, e-commerce, uh, SEO, WordPress performance, WordPress um, uh, security, website design, etc., etc., head over to Norism, not me, we can help you. Uh, like, subscribe, notification bell. And if you could, tell me what words you typed in to YouTube search to, fi to find this video. That would be super helpful. So, okay, we're going to go through this real quick. So I just got this dummy document here, and I bold bolded some stuff, bolded some stuff, made this text a little bigger, put some uh, a numbered list and some bullet points. So I'm going to show you how it maintains the formatting. So, if you share this with somebody, you have the option to uncheck this. Viewers and commenters can see the option to download, print, and copy, right? So, if you do it that way and you send it to somebody, so I'm going to send it to another account of mine. And if I go here, so this, is, this would be like you sending it to a coworker. Are you receiving it from a coworker? That's this document. Now I sent it to a different Google ID. And as you can see, once it loads, it's kind of slow. My laptop's acting kind of crazy. If you try to highlight it and right click, it won't let you do anything. Um, you can't look at page source. You can't go to file print. You can't do anything. So it's locked down pretty good. So this is 100%. So what you want to do is get it down to where you can see the entire page on the screen. So come here, zoom down to about that, then use a print screen tool like I use ShareX because I can just select certain points of the screen and I can copy it, I can auto upload it, etc, etc. So use your favorite copy tool and you're just gonna highlight the text all the way to the bottom of the page and then you're going to save image as and we'll call it SOP4 PNG just because I've been testing with others so it should be saved and downloads now you want to go to an online OCR tool, uh, OCR tool. So, uh, what is it? Opti uh, uh, optimal character recognition. It'll extract the text from an image and convert it to a Microsoft Word doc. So, this is on online OCR.net. There's paid tools. This is a free tool. It seems to work pretty good for my tests. So, select file, SOP4, convert. And again, like, subscribe, uh, notification bell if you like videos related to WordPress, uh, local SEO, e-commerce SEO, WordPress performance, blah, blah, blah. Um, join the Discord server that's below. It's a bunch of local SEO people. It's kind of quiet, but it's growing. And then type below what keywords you type to find this video. So it's done that. So here it's going to look just like text. It's not going to look that good. It looks okay, but you can see the one, two, and three here on the same line. So download output file. SOP4.docx and once that downloads we will open it up whoops it's on my other screen let me bring it over here and you can see it did it good um, OCR is not perfect you need to grammar check it I'd run everything through Grammarly of course um, but this is good if you so this is page one what you would do is go get page two and then just keep appending it so then you would get page two and just paste page two starting right here then page three page four page five so you're gonna have multiple files you just got to combine them it's kind of a pain in the butt but it's gonna save you time from having to retype the whole thing out like I said once you get in the hang of it you can do a 10 page document probably in five minutes it doesn't take that long so hopefully that helps again type what let me know what words you use to find this video hit the notification bell please like the video that helps me tremendous me tremendously if you need any help let me know and we will see you later